guys, it's Tiara. Welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I am in my pyjamas with no makeup on and today I thought that it will be fun for me to film um, a collective haul because I have done a little bit of shopping as of late and not only am I going to do a haul but I thought I would do it in my pyjamas with no makeup on because that's how it is right now. Like it's 9.45p... 9... what time is it? 9.45 It's 9.45 Thank you I need you. to sleep I need to sleep Thanks It's 9.45 p.m. right now And usually I don't have makeup on at this time And I'm always in my PJs Also, side note I am obsessed with PJs If you've been following me for a while I love PJs PJs are my thing I take pyjamas very seriously So let me know in the comment section down below If such a series of videos with me wearing PJs Is something that you would like to see more of I just thought that it would be fun. Without wasting any more time, let's jump right into this video! The first item I want to share with you is something from Skagen. So Skagen is a um, watch brand. Unfortunately, my rose gold Michael Kors watch um, is no longer functioning because the strap broke and the insides kind of broke also. So I decided to get myself a brand new rose gold watch and this is the Skagen one. It has the mesh, um, the mesh strap which I really like and another thing that I like about it is that um, the you can adjust the strap length uh, to fit your wrist without um, having to like uh, go to the watch shop to get the, the links open and, and, and unhooked and stuff and also I've always had very big faced watches this is a slightly smaller one and I thought that it would be great in my collection it matches a lot of outfits which is great especially when they, um, it was E period so yeah next up I got um, a Jo Malone fragrance and I ran out of mine so this is the Jo Malone Wild Bluebell Cologne which is my favorite scent right now it's the only uh, perfume that I own which is good but it's also bad because I run out of this very very quickly because I like to bathe in perfume anyway um, they recently launched a new uh, like a new ml what, like a new size usually they used to go in 30 ml and 100 ml but now they are they have introduced 50 ml so i got this and of course they had to package it very nicely in the box and everything of course they had the ribbon also but i actually honestly use this then i put this in the box bag to show you lah next up i went to um, beautylish.com and i made a purchase of some makeup so um, the first item I have here is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder and I've heard a lot of good things about this powder from my makeup artist friends and I just felt like I wanted to try a new um, setting powder or pressed powder so I decided to get this and I got it in the shade medium honestly I feel that the shade might be a bit too dark for me but I think it's okay lah it's not so bad see and I got another powder actually see? this Joe. Where is your Joe? This is the other powder that I got because my friend Zoe actually has tried it with this before and she said it was really good. This is the Jouer Soft Focus Hydrate and Set Powder and I got it in the shade Fair P uh, slash Pale. Um, I've tried this before and I think it does an okay job in like setting my makeup. So this is what it looks like. Nice packaging. And... Honestly, I feel that the the texture is a bit hard. I don't know whether because I got a a, a faulty one or what, but it do, it it doesn't really rub off that much on my on my finger when I try to swatch it. So I'm not really sure. Last but not least, the item that I got from Beautylish is the Jeffree Star Magic Star Concealer and I got it in the shade C13. I think that it's a little bit too light for my skin tone but I don't mind mixing it up with my current um, concealers. This is what it looks like. It is super extra. It reminds me something that Sailor Moon would have in her pocket. Um, and I've tried it, it's actually not that, it's not bad, it has a very nice consistency, I love the wand, it's very precise and it's very easy to blend and it makes my under eye area look very very brightened and also very very smooth. Ni fairy yang punya, fairy mua ke batu pahat? Ini fairy yang punya, fairy mua ke batu pahat? 
Next up are products that I purchased from Amazon International. So I usually treat myself to an item or two from Amazon International whenever I want to get or order my dad's um, some of my dad's medical supplies on Amazon is just basically the Kleenex tissues that come in a huge box and to hit the $60 um, free shipping mark I have to usually buy stuff so I use that excuse to buy things lah so the first thing I usually get is um, the Adele Demi Wispies the 5 pair pack and it's so affordable it's like between 11 to 13 dollars for a five pack on amazon international so you can go and check it out i'll leave it in the description box below if you want to go and if you're interested to purchase and then i also got myself the taya switch hazel facial toner unscented i have been using the lavender one but for some reason i got it from iHerb the first time around and i it doesn't want to restock in iHerb so i just decided to get this because i like using this um to fill up smaller bottles for my travels so that I don't have to bring a large bottle of toner when I go and travel. Next, I got a brand new eyeshadow palette and I only got this because it was on sale for 30% off and I've been swatching it every time I see it in Sephora and I really like the texture of the um, of the metallic and the shimmery shades and it's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Novena palette I know I have so many eyeshadows and eyeshadow palettes like I do not need one more but the the shimmery shades and the, or the metallic shades in this are so smooth and they're so pigmented that I couldn't help myself since it was on 30% off I couldn't let go of the opportunity the original price of this is 75 and I only paid 52 50 for it which I think is a pretty great deal. Alright so the next few items are from Bath & Body Works. I was lucky enough to stumble upon Bath & Body Works mid-year sale and they were having such a fantastic deal so I couldn't help myself. I think I went to Bath & Body Works twice in about in a span of two weeks because I went um, before eat to buy a candle for Hari Raya that has already finished burning and I, I went again um, to where were we oh we were at mds and they were still having the sale so i just grabbed the opportunity to purchase more candles so in total i actually got five candles but i finished one i'm burning an old one that i have that my friend bought for me so the first two candles that i got are these ones with a very very nice uh, sticker on it uh, one is the scent coastal morning and by the way guys original price of these candles are actually 42 dollars but they were going at 50% off and for promotional products you can buy two get one free so I thought that it was a fantastic deal this um, scent that I got is called coastal morning and it smells I don't know how to ex I'm bad at explaining scents but it smells very fresh and it's not too um, florally for um, my room because I find that my husband likes kind of masculine scents and I don't mind it as well. The next candle I got is the aromatherapy version and it's the focus one and it smells like eucalyptus and tea. I actually like this scent. It's quite calming even though it says that it's supposed to focus. Right now I'm also burning one of the aromatherapy scents but this is for stress relief and it's the eucalyptus and spearmint and I love this scent. Shout out to Wahida for getting this for me for my birthday. I super love it. The last candle that I got is Aloha Kiwi and Passion Fruit. So you can pretty much imagine how this smells like. It smells really fruity and fresh and nice and quite sweet. And I quite like the design on the packaging as well. It, like I said, it matches my room decor, which is one of the main reasons why I got it. And then I also got a brand new body spray. This is the Happy Vibes Fine Fragrance Mist. If you have watched my favourites video, I did mention that I've been enjoying using body mists before I apply or before I put on my clothes uh, in the morning or when I'm at home. So I decided to get a backup um, of the fragrance mist because I'm almost running out of the current one that I'm using. And the last few items that I got from Bath & Body Works is the wall plug because um, I decided I, I have a wall plug that I 
already have in my stash but I just did not have the plug to go with so I decided to get this and because it's again three buy three get one free or like um, there's a promotion going on promotion going on so I decided to get more of the bulb scents as well so the three bulbs that I got is called one one of it is called sun wash petals sun wash citrus and this is aloha kiwi passion fruit which is the same scent as the candle I mentioned earlier now on to the more lifestyle-ish items that I purchased um, recently. The first one is something I was super excited about because I was looking for it everywhere and it was out of stock in Singapore, especially for my size. If you've watched my Instagram stories, you'll probably know what I'm talking about and it is the Harry Potter and Vans collab. So, oh my god, I'm super excited. So I got this from ASOS and I've I saw this at Vans in Tampines or Tampines 1 and I didn't jump the gun and ask them whether they had my size which is a major regret and after that when I wanted to buy I called stores and stuff and they said that they were out of stock and then I went to ASOS and I saw that they were having a discount and when I opened the discount page lo and behold I had this shoe listed there so I immediately bought it and I got the so this is what it looks like. I wore it already. Uh, I got the Vans slip-ons and this is the Marauders map one. So you can see like the Marauders map on the shoe. And I generally like Vans slip-ons. I own one and I have owned one for many many years and already it already has a hole so it's about time. And one of my favorite favorite parts about this shoe is at the back. If you if you are a Harry Potter fan, you would you would you know how cool this is. It just says mischief managed and it appears at both um both feet. Both feet? No. It appears at the heel of both of the shoe. Next up is something that I got from a Singaporean um e-store and it is this it's this travel um, cutlery pouch. It's by the brand Bigo Handmade, but you can get them from your sustainable store. Um, they are a Singaporean brand. I will leave their li the link to their website in the description box below if you're interested. So basically, they kind of um, get these Bigo Handmade uh, travel pouches or cutlery pouches and snack pouches from Canada. This lady. Uh, I think this lady from Canada, she actually sews everything and she makes this and then she sells them to your sustainable store and then your sustainable store makes it uh, easy for us to get our hands on them. So I got this and inside it also came with bamboo cutlery. So I have my bamboo um, fork and spoon, chopsticks and knife. Let me just take it all out for you. So these are my bamboo cutlery that I house inside my Bigo handmade waterproof, the inside is waterproof, um, cutlery pouch. I Because it's quite long, I also do keep my metal straws and my um, the scrubby thingies inside here. So basically this pouch actually has all of my uh, reusable uh, drinking straw, cutlery and everything and I just keep this in my bag if I'm carrying a big bag so that you know if there's any reason why I should need to eat with plastic plastic fork, spoon, knife or straw then I will instead of using that I will try my best to use my own bamboo utensils guys I'm so sorry if my nose looks very very red because it goes through these things where I get very itchy like my nose gets so itchy but I don't know why I got myself a brand new pair of shades and these are from Ray-Ban I told myself that I kind of wanted to treat myself this month and I didn't know what to get and I just decided maybe I should get or invest in another pair of shades. I went into Gentle Monster actually and in hopes to get a cool looking pair of shades but they just didn't look very good on me and it was just very big on my frame or my face. So I just went back to Ray-Bans um, and got this. So Karun actually chose this for me. I was actually in on the hunt for a black pair of shades or a dark um, a dark lens uh, sh pair of shades. The current ribbons that I have are blue frame with a gradient grey to clear tint and I just wanted something dark. This is the Ray-Ban limited edition for Chinese New Year this year um, shades. That's why it comes in the red um, casing instead of the black 
and it re looks really cool. The lens unfortunately is not dark tinted, it's uh, red tinted because to suit the theme and according to the sales guy, he actually mentioned that this is Ray-Ban's only um, clear framed uh, shades, like they do not have any other shades that is transparent framed like this. So this is me with my shades and I think that it looks very fun and yeah it fits my face, it doesn't like come off and the thing about my face is that I have quite a small face so a lot of shades are actually quite big and it always hits my cheeks like that so this one actually just fits very very nicely and I actually quite like it so yay! Alright guys, so that's the end of my haul video with me in my pyjamas. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me. Also, don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified as to when I upload a brand new video. And like I said earlier, comment down below letting me know if you want to see more um, PJ... I don't know what to call this series but basically pajama series by me I don't know and because you know it gives me an extra reason to go and purchase more pajamas because I love pajamas thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and I hope to see you guys soon in my next video bye